Hey everybody, this is day one of your final project. There is a lot to do today, so make sure that you are on task and everybody in your team is on task and ready to go and that everybody is following their roles. By the end of class today, these are the things that are due. I will be going into more detail on each bullet point on the upcoming slides. So which team member is responsible for what? How will you present your information? What type of daycare are you creating? What is the name of your daycare? What hours will your daycare be open? What will a day in the life of a child at your daycare look like? What will children be fed at your daycare and why? And what education will your staff members be required to have? So which team member is responsible for what? Who is going to have the final say? All team members are going to work together to come up with the idea, but the person assigned will be checking the final edits to make sure each item is perfect and how the team wants it to look. So just because you have that role, it doesn't mean that's the only thing that you're focused on or that's the only topic that you're focused on. Everybody is working together. You're just giving the final approval. You are going to need to have a task manager in your group. This is the person that keeps your phones put away and that keeps track of the time and the deadlines and just make sure that everything is ready to go. This person should be very organized. They should just be on top of things. You will also need to have a spokesperson. This is a person that will be presenting the project and answering any questions. Um, this is the person that can ask Mrs. Emily any questions, whatever you need. You also should have a grammar guru. This person should be good with commas and periods and spelling, um, knowing when to use the right there, um, making sure that you're not writing in text, that you're actually writing appropriately. So how are you going to present your information for this project? Is your team making a poster? Are you doing a trifold? Are you making a movie? Are you creating a website? Are you typing a paper? What's the plan? How are you going to get your point across? You're welcome to come up with some other ideas as well. Just make it sure you run it past your teacher. I don't want you to get to work on something you think is really cool and then come to figure out it doesn't meet all of their requirements and then you have to start all over. That would be a bummer. So now we're really getting into what the actual project is. So what type of daycare are you creating? And what is the name of your daycare? Are you making it in home daycare? Are you doing a center? Are you making a daycare that's in an office so it's more convenient for parents? What's your plan? What are you doing? Um, is there a specific age range of child that you will be caring for? Are you doing infants and toddlers and preschoolers? Are you gonna care for older kids in the summer? What's the plan? And then lastly, come up with a creative name for your daycare and everybody in your team needs to agree on it. Next, what hours is your daycare going to be open? When are you open? When are you closing? Are you gonna have flexible hours? I know that there are some daycares that are open late in the middle of the night so that people who work the night shift still can have care for their child. Um, that's really up to you and your team. How early are you gonna open? How late are you going to close? You need to figure that out. This is kind of the event planning. Um, what is a day in the life of a child at your daycare going to look like? You need to have a schedule for the toddlers. Obviously, the infants are going to figure out when they want to sleep and when they want to eat on their own. But for the toddlers, you need to have activities. What are your What's your first activity? When is your snack happening? You need to actually make a schedule of the day. So from when you open to when you close, just has to be for one day. It doesn't have to be for a week or anything but you need to include meal times, nap times, activity ideas, anything that you want them to do. Next, what are the children going to be fed at your daycare and why? You've already done this project pretty much. Um, you can also go online and look at other daycare centers and see what they're feeding their kids and then edit it to be what you want. But you need to design a week menu, a week long, five days, for the toddlers at your daycare. The infants obviously are going to bring whatever their parents have, breast milk or formula or whatever. But your menu for your toddler should include breakfast, morning snack, lunches, afternoon snack, and it should meet the requirements that toddlers are supposed to have. Like I said, you've done this already. You are welcome to use that. You can revamp it. You can type it. I don't know. It's up to your group. Think smarter, not harder. Feel free to use online resources and that too. This is where it gets kind of interesting. What education will you re require your staff to have? Um, do they have to have previous experience working with kids? Did they have to have good grades in school? Do they need to be CPR certified? Do they need to be mandatory reporter certified? Um, do you want them to have a DMACC certificate? Do you want them to have 
an educational degree? Are there going to be varying levels of pay? Um, that's really up to you. What do teachers or what do staff members at your daycare need to have? So if you don't know what CPR means, if you don't know what mandatory reporter is, look it up and see if you want your staff members to have that. Overall, throughout this project, ask lots of questions. If you don't understand something, ask another team. Ask somebody in your team. Ask Mrs. Emily. Ask. Stay engaged and on task. I know you think you have a lot of time to work on this, but if you dilly-dally and if you are getting distracted by your phone and other people, you're going to be on a time crunch and it's going to be very frustrating. Um, teamwork makes the dream work. If you see somebody on your team and they are being super distracted, maybe your team takes a two-minute tech break and then you get back on track and you get focused. That's up to you. Just make sure each day at the end of the day you have everything turned in that is due that day. 